You've probably seen many videos online claiming they can fix ping and network latency while gaming, but after watching this video, you'll definitely be able to achieve the lowest possible ping and fix network latency for good. I'll show you some settings you may not have seen before. Make sure to watch until the end so you don't miss any important steps. Without wasting any more time, let's dive in. Frustrated with lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need gear up booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Alright guys, in the first step we'll be tweaking the limit reservable bandwidth setting to free up more network speed for gaming and other tasks. Let's dive in. To get started, open the Windows search bar, type gpedit.msc and hit enter. Click on edit group policy from the search results. If you run into an error or can't access it, you're probably using Windows 10 Home Edition, which doesn't include Group Policy Editor by default. In that case, you'll need to manually enable it or use alternative registry tweaks. Once inside the Group Policy Editor, navigate to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Network, QoS Packet Scheduler. Find the setting called Limit Reservable Bandwidth and double-click on it. In the window that pops up, select Enabled, then change the bandwidth limit, 1%, from the default 20% to 10%. By default, Windows reserves 20% of your total bandwidth for system services, leaving only 80% available for regular use. Adjusting this setting lets you allocate 90% of your bandwidth for personal use, while reserving just 10% for Windows processes. Now download the Ultimate Network Boost Pack on your PC. You can get this pack from my official website. Once the download is complete, extract the folder to your desktop and open it. For the first step, double-click on the registry file and install it on your system. This tweak will disable network throttling, which can enhance your network speed and reduce latency. To further optimize your network settings, launch TCP Optimizer and select the network adapter you use for your internet connection. Adjust the slider to the 100 plus Mbps position to ensure your settings are tuned for high-speed connections. After that, apply the recommended settings, which are pre-configured for the best performance. Next, disable the auto-tuning feature within TCP Optimizer. While this feature is meant to improve data flow, it can sometimes cause issues with certain applications, especially gaming. Also, turn off scaling heuristics, which adjusts TCP window scaling dynamically but can sometimes limit throughput. Change the congestion control provider from its default cubic to CTCP, compound TCP, which improves performance on high speed and high latency networks by optimizing data transfer and reducing packet loss. Disable RSS, receive side scaling, and RSC, receive segment coalescing to reduce CPU load and enhance stability under high demand conditions. Set the time to live, TTL, value to 64, ensuring consistent network behavior across different routers and devices. Additionally, disable checksum offloading, chimney offload, and LSO, large send offload. These offloading features are meant to improve network performance, but they often cause instability, especially in gaming setups. 
Enable TCP-11323 timestamps to enhance performance on high latency connections by allowing support for timestamps and window scaling. In the advanced settings of TCP Optimizer, adjust max connections per server to 10, preventing excessive connections while maintaining efficient data transfer. Modify local priority and DNS settings according to your needs, using recommended DNS services like Google DNS or Cloudflare DNS. For better reliability, set max SYN retransmissions to 2, ensuring a connection attempt is retried a limited number of times before timing out. Finally, disable the Network Throttling Index, which can cap your system's throughput under certain conditions, affecting gaming and streaming performance. Set the system. Responsiveness parameter to gaming, to prioritize low latency and real-time performance. By applying these tweaks, your system will be optimized for maximum network efficiency and responsiveness. All right, guys, in this step, we're going to optimize your network adapter settings to ensure you're getting the best possible performance from your connection. By adjusting a few key options, we can enhance speed and stability for a smoother gaming experience. First, open the search bar, type View Network Connections, and click on it. In the Network Connections window, locate your active connection, then disable any unused connections to prevent unnecessary network interference. Right-click on your main network, select Properties, and proceed to optimize the settings. In the Properties window, choose Internet Protocol version 4, IPv4, or Internet Protocol version 6, IPv6, depending on your connection type. Click Properties and adjust your DNS settings for better response times. Select the second option to manually enter DNS addresses, then open Command Prompt as administrator and run ping 8.8.8.8 for Google. DNS, ping 1.1.1.1 for Cloudflare DNS. Whichever server has the lowest ping, use it. If Cloudflare performs better, set 1.1.1.1 as your primary DNS and 8.8.8.8 as the secondary DNS. If Google DNS is faster, use 8.8.8.8 .8 as primary and 1.1.1.1 as secondary. This tweak helps improve response times and reduce latency during online gaming and browsing. Now let's fine tune your network adapter settings for maximum efficiency. Right click on your active connection, select configure and go to the power management tab. Uncheck the option that allows Windows to turn off the device to save power. Then navigate to the Advanced tab and modify the following settings. Disable Adaptive Interframe Spacing and ARP Offload. Turn off Energy Efficient Ethernet and disable Flow Control. Set Gigabit Master Slave Mode to Auto Detect. Disable Interrupt Moderation and adjust the moderation rate to improve packet processing speed. Turn off IPv4 Checksum Offload, Jumbo Packet and Large Send Offload for both IPv4 and IPv6. Increase Receive Buffers to the highest available value, such as 1024 or 2048. Enable Packet Priority and VLAN. Set Speed and Duplex to Auto Negotiation or the highest available full duplex setting. Finally, disable TCP Checksum Offload and UDP Checksum Offload. Once all these changes are applied, click OK and Apply. Your network adapter might temporarily disconnect, but will reconnect with the new optimized settings, ensuring improved performance, reduced latency, and a smoother gaming experience. All right, guys, in the next step, we're going to identify which apps and services are consuming the most bandwidth so we can optimize your connection. Let's dive in and find out what's slowing things down. Start by right-clicking the Windows icon in the taskbar and selecting Task Manager from the menu. Once Task Manager opens, head over to the Performance tab on the left side. Scroll down and click on Open Resource Monitor at the bottom of the window to access detailed network activity insights. In Resource Monitor, switch to the Network tab. Here, you'll find a list of applications and processes currently using network bandwidth. Below that, the TCP Connections section allows you to monitor packet transmission and latency rates for different apps. Take a close look at this section to spot any programs consuming unnecessary bandwidth, especially those that aren't essential for your current tasks. If you see applications running in the background that you rarely use, closing them can free up bandwidth and enhance overall network performance. Next, in the Network Activity section, you can pinpoint which applications are using the most bandwidth. 
to reduce network congestion, simply right-click on any app consuming excessive bandwidth and select End Process. If the application has multiple related processes running, choose End Process Tree to shut them all down at once. Additionally, some system services like svtrust.exe may also be using a considerable amount of bandwidth. While these services are essential for Windows functions, some instances might contribute to higher ping and latency issues. If you're noticing network lag, consider researching which services can be safely disabled or adjusting their network access to optimize your connection for gaming and online performance. Next, we're going to disable notifications to cut down on background activity, prevent unnecessary interruptions, and minimize network usage for a smoother gaming experience. Open the search bar, type notifications, and click on notification and action settings. Unless you absolutely need notifications, I highly recommend disabling them by unchecking all boxes. This will help free up system resources and reduce network usage caused by background apps constantly checking for updates. However, if you rely on notifications for important alerts, you can choose to keep them on. Personally, I prefer turning them off because it prevents unnecessary internet usage, ensuring more bandwidth for gaming, no pop-ups interrupting gameplay, especially during intense matches, better system performance and network stability, leading to a smoother gaming experience. Now let's turn off background apps to free up valuable system resources, minimize unnecessary processes, and reduce bandwidth usage for better overall performance. Open the search bar, type background apps, and open the settings. By default, this setting is on, meaning several apps run unnecessarily in the background, consuming network bandwidth and system performance. Unlike essential system services, which are crucial for Windows operations, most background apps are unnecessary. Think about it. Do you really need the weather app or news updates running while gaming? Most of these apps only slow down your connection and consume system resources that could be better used for low latency gaming. I strongly recommend turning them off to ensure your internet connection and system performance remain optimized for gaming. And that's it guys. With these pro-level network tweaks, you should experience lower ping, faster speeds, and a much smoother gaming experience. If this guide helped, smash that like button and drop a comment letting me know how these optimizations worked for you. 